Do we have power? Oh, that one's dead. Let oh God, the grid's there. down. Get a bus. Bus talk. Hi, my name's Sean Leach. Hi, I'm Tim Shannon. And this is Bus Talk. All right, Tim, we have another great question here. What is V to G? A diesel bus, after it finishes its routes and it spends tons of time in line fueling up and spewing fumes out everywhere, that diesel bus parks and it rots and it leaks oil and it's, and it's a pain in the butt. Whereas these electric buses, you park, you plug in, it starts recharging. And then if the grid needs energy at some point during the day, that bus can actually take its power and push it back out to the grid to help support the local grid. V2G is really just EV charging in reverse. These buses can be a more active member of your community. Tim, you know what helps me understand something complex? A good model. Whoa. What we have here is sort of the reality of an electric school bus project distilled down to a really, really cool model. And what we're gonna show you guys is how the school buses actually work inside reality. So let's start with, with the basics. So, you know, charging a school bus, what does that look like? So if we reach over here and we hit charge a bus, you can see the energy's flowing out of the charger and into the bus. What else can we do with the bus? Well, let's get some energy out of it. What do you think? Yeah, yeah I think we should put some energy out to the grid. All right, let's do it. So now we can take the energy in the bus, and let's push it out to the power grid. So in this case, you see now the power is flowing back out of the bus into the charger and then out to the larger grid. Well, you know, what does that mean? How does that actually help anybody? Well, at the end of the day, these electric buses are giant mobile batteries. And these giant mobile batteries can be used to support the community. And a couple different ways that that can happen are, let's say the grid goes down and you have to keep the local hospital up. What do you do? Well, you- Drive go, the bus over to the hospital. That's right, step, very important step one. Oh, and that it. simple thing we talked about earlier, you're gonna plug it in. Yep, just plug it in, back it in, plug it in. And then let's start the backflow. Look at that. So energy's coming out of the bus and helping to keep the hospital online and running. And probably save some lives. I would say absolutely save some lives. That's a, that's a more serious example, but, but what else can they do in the community? Well, let's say it's a summertime concert. The grid's got a lot going on. There's a lot of air conditioners running. We really don't want to get a diesel generator out there, power a concert. Let's send a bus out. So we, we got our bus pulled up, some people ready to rock. Look at that. Man, they're really rocking. So the bus went from, from practical. All the way to fun. All the way to fun. And everything in between. They can help keep your gym online if the grid goes down. They can help keep people cool when it's super hot out or warm when it's cold out. You know, these buses can do more for your community than just move people around twice a day. Thank you for joining us on Bus Talk. I'm Sean. I'm Tim. Thanks. Bus Talk.